Hey neighbors, I didn't film anything last week and I need to film something today. And my house is a absolute nightmare because I just complete shutdown and haven't done anything. So we're gonna, we're gonna clean the kitchen while we chat today. How's that sound? I hope that looks good. If not, this is what you're dealing with while I'm on camera tonight. Um, anyway, hi, I'm Ryan. If you've been here before, welcome back to the garden. If not, uh, welcome. Hi, we talk about things. Monday is vlog day and apparently it's me cleaning things and using y'all as accountability for me to finish that. So last week, I'm just gonna talk while I clean. So last week was just an absolute mess with everything. I don't, I didn't do any of the things that I said I wanted to do. None of them, I didn't do anything. So I instead, fuck are all my kids, Jesus. How hard was it to find one of these? So last week I just, I had no inspiration to post anything and it made me realize that I don't want to just be posting for the sake of meeting a schedule. And I said that in Wednesday's video and like whatever, but, but it made me think now that I have this day job and I'm doing more things, how can I plan my schedule and make sure that I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing as well as still providing content that is beneficial? Because as of right now, this channel kind of lines up where the people watching this are either crafters that came here to see like the yarn hauls and the Friday tutorials and they want to learn how to crochet and do other things. They're crafters that are here for our Wednesday witchy videos to do like tarot and apothecary and garden related things. Or they're crafters in the sense that they own their own small business or they want to start their own small business and they gotta know how to do those things. Um, so who I thought I was filming my videos for? It's not who I was actually filming my videos for and it made me think that now that I'm doing the day job thing again, and not just, my light is still not on, I did it again. Please. Better. Now that I'm not doing the, this is a full-time gig, I mean, I'm still full-time, but like I have a day job in the middle of it. How do you plan that? How do you plan your content and keep your small business growing while like paying bills and doing responsibility? So we're gonna chat about that today. I'm gonna put coffee away. This coffee has been sitting out all day and I don't care, I'm still going to drink it tomorrow because I have no control over my life. Anyway, so it's the beginning of January, and the beginning of January is when most people try to start a YouTube channel or get their stuff together to go into their goals for the next year. And the goals that I have planned this year are along the lines of like 100,000 YouTube follower or subscriber, what are they called on here, subscribers? And, which some of you are here for, thank you so much. But how do you grow beyond that? Like, what do you do to plan it, especially when you have to fit into a work schedule? So we're gonna talk about the things that I find most helpful. We're gonna start with Batching. Batching content is where you take basically like whatever time you have and you film multiple things at once so that you're not creating content on a like rolling schedule and you're a little bit of a head. So then if you have what I had last week where you just basically are like, I'm at capacity, I cannot do anymore, you know what to do for that. Has anyone seen that that TikToker? She's on Instagram. I saw her on Instagram. That Instagram girl. And she's always in the white robe out in the yard, like screaming. And then she ends it with like, it's called manifesting, look it up, that. She posted one that I was tagged in the other day that I like relate to in pertaining, like dealing with this video, uh, specifically saying, I need there to be more energy to do the things or less things, either energy or less things. I, I need one because I can't do both. And that's basically how I felt. And that's where batching comes in. So instead of, spending all of your time working day to day to day, putting it up as it goes. Like right now my work schedule is all over the place and I'm posting videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But normally, prior to me having a day job, I would film Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday and like edit and upload and call it a day. And that won't happen while I'm working. Because what happened this week is the time that I did have to film things, I did not have the energy to film things or I didn't have the topic or the brain capacity because sometimes you come home from work and need a beverage and that is it. Or multiple beverages, I don't know what you do. So anyway, batching is when you would take it and plan all of that. So like I was off today, I was recovering today because yesterday was real rough at work, but I would take my day off and be like, okay, well this is what I wanna film this, either this week or this month, you can do it however you want. 
like Katie Steckley, I've talked about her before. She had one where she was in Europe backpacking for like two or three weeks. So she filmed a bunch of videos and scheduled them so they were ready to go so that she could go enjoy her trip and not have to worry about uploading. I am not prepared enough to do that. And I've come to notice that the people that follow my channel are also not prepared enough to do that. So I'm just trying to get like a week ahead. You know what I mean? Just like do all my videos for the week. So today you're gonna be watching the Monday video, my Monday vlog, and I would ideally have my vlog my witchy and my craft video done, scheduled, ready to go. Maybe I have to put some descriptions on them, but other than that, post it and I can forget about it, which is great for my brain because we all know if I don't see it, I can't do it. That's on what? Tism. So anyway, as I do more dishes, if you're the type of person that can't get far enough ahead, take a week off. Like just take some time to gather yourself and figure out what you want to post about so that you can have this content ahead and then you can go off of it. Plus, doing this batching and getting things done early allows you to schedule these four videos and these four videos go up and then people are commenting and engaging with those and you can see what to continue filming more of. So like by video two, they've already told what's going on, right? So you filmed all of these, you've edited them, you've uploaded them. This one's live, this one's live. These two haven't even gone up yet. People are engaging on here. Now you can film more content based off what they're discussing here to go up after. So you stay ahead of the game and it keeps you from having burnout like I did. In the long run, you've got all this stuff scheduled ahead of time that allows you to be ahead and you can account for those times where you take break. So you're basically gonna spend the entire day like scripted, 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 ready to go. And you can do this however you want. Some people batch all in one day, some spread it out. I definitely make a to-do list of what I want for the week. And then when I sit down, I try and cross off as many as I can. I'm not worried about editing them. It's literally just me in the kitchen, as you see today, or, like the living room or whatever, just me filming as much as I can so that when I have downtime in front of the computer or like before bed or whatever, I can sit and edit little by little so that it's ready to go. So that is one way to do your batching. And that puts you so far ahead. Batching is fabulous. The thing about batching that helps is my work schedule changes. Like certain days I work certain things and that may not be the same each week. And this gives me the space or like the freedom, I guess, to have everything already done so I I'm off on Sunday and things change that I'm not off Sunday next week. I'm not stressed out. You don't have to worry about everybody being like, well, why haven't you uploaded a video? I didn't have time. It ends up helping you more, especially because on YouTube, consistency is key. Now, the other thing you have to think about with consistency is it doesn't mean that like I'm posting every day or I'm posting at the same time every day. If you're only posting two times a week, you're only posting two times a week and that is consistent for you. It's for you and what you can put it for so that your audience like y'all can come in and be like, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we know to expect a video most weeks. Because then you can put your routine around it. Wow, I hate egg. Because then you can put your week around it and it makes it easier for you to fit your videos in and engage with the community. Because like nobody wants to follow somebody to not see anything. And then every now and then it comes up and you're like, all right, well, why am I following this person? Batching also gives you the opportunity for so much egg. Batching also gives you the opportunity where you can film something like this and if you're going to edit it and you're like, this isn't right, I don't like this, you have the opportunity to redo it or add something to it to make it better instead of just like flying blind, which I'm infamous for on this channel. Is it harder? Probably. Because you do have to plan out a little bit ahead. Like you gotta get your schedule where it needs to be, where you can start what time you have to do this or figure out your filming time, but it lets you get more out of the way. So if I only have, 20 minutes on Tuesday, I can sit down and plan out the content that I want to film. Like, what am I want to record? What do I want to talk about? What do I want to get done? So that when I actually have time to film, I'm not sitting there going, oh, well, how do I film this? What do I have to talk about? And then I'm just crossing off. Like it, you put a little more effort in up front, but it pays off in the end. Freaking egg, man. So that's the fastest way to like, get on a specific schedule, I guess, to figure out what you want to do and then go from there. But when you're doing those things, it also puts you ahead where your content is like good rather than random like this. Once you figure out the, the batching or like how you want to film your content, then comes the fun part of filming and it's how to be authentic with your audience. That's always the hard part for me because like last week I was post, I was trying to figure out what to film to put out good quality, something that benefits and it just wasn't happening. And so Wednesday when I posted that video, being like, I'm just not, I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. I don't have any energy for this. I don't wanna waste my time filming this. I don't wanna waste your time and putting out a video that you just aren't gonna wanna watch. 
and I was just like, 56 seconds, say what I need to say. I asked my mom and she was just like, throw this out there. And I was like, okay, cool. And the reception to it was really, really good. I had quite a few of you message me and specifically say like, take your time, we get it. It's fine, we're gonna be here no matter what. And surprisingly, I haven't lost any subscribers over the last week. I actually gained 15, which, what? But then I had another friend text me and she was just like, that was the most authentic I've ever seen you on camera. And then she appreciated how simple it was. She appreciated the fact that most of my videos are just like, chatting with you and being really realistic and that allows people to digest it easier and kind of relate which is great because like that's what we want here we want to be that friendly neighborhood you know what i mean that friendly neighborhood hippie which is our whole thing and we want to be neighbors with you and engage with you so apparently me telling you that i'm struggling was very relatable for everybody brings us to our next part for my i guess biggest tip or thing i've learned about doing youtube is be authentic with your audience and I know that a lot of these like how to start a YouTube videos or things you need to do to blow up on YouTube videos talk about what content to put, to put out or like what consistency to use or what tools to use, but not a single person talks about how to actually communicate with your, your followers, how to talk to your subscribers and how to put videos out that people can relate to and want to engage with you. Because at the end of the day, the people that are clicking on this are doing it because your info is really good, your visuals are really good, you're like compelling to watch or you provide some sort of entertainment or relationship for them. Like if you think of the, the YouTubers that you follow the most, that have like the biggest following and everything, why are you following them? What do they provide for you? So if you're like me, where sure as hell ain't the video quality because I'm filming this on my phone. Um, it's not like crazy editing skills because I don't know how to do any of that. It's the content. It's what we're talking about. It's the content and the <laughs> engagement and the interaction that people want to see. I had somebody message me today, shout out Jen, who specifically said like, your videos are really easy for me to follow because I can do other things. And I appreciate that because that's literally how my brain works. When I'm watching YouTube videos, I'm doing dishes or something like this. So I'm not really watching the visuals as much as I'm just listening to it. And I kind of really enjoy having content that other people can do that with. Like, yes, I could do a podcast, absolutely. But that's boring to me because sometimes you wanna see someone and it feels like you're in the same room with them having a conversation, which is ideal. So if you're doing that, if you're filming content and stuff for people and you're trying to be relatable and authentic, what do you do? You share bits and pieces of yourself as you go. Like, I really didn't expect me talking about how I was burnt out and couldn't handle it was gonna be so relatable to people. I just didn't expect that. I feel like everybody's life is tough as it is. Nobody wants to hear about it constantly, but I was wrong, so thank you. And thank you to everyone who actually said something and reached out because it was, it didn't fall on deaf ears. Like I definitely needed to hear it. So what do we do now? I'm fully aware that this video is just like casual. It's just talking. I'm still really burnt out. I'm still really tired from this week. Like I'm not even out of training yet as a new job and it's just been hectic and really hard on me and leaving me with literally no energy left to do this, which is something that I thoroughly enjoy, which is really upsetting, obviously. But I'm gonna finish these dishes and I'll be back in a minute, okay? I filmed all of that. I don't know what I'll save. We'll find out. Editing me, I'll let you know. But <laughs> I'm still not 100% on where I want to be filming things now. I know that I want to do Mondays like this, where it's a chat, a business update, um, how we're growing and what we're focusing on. Wednesdays are going to continue being garden and witchy based because it's the whole point of the apothecary. And then Fridays are craft based because a lot of my followers have come from that. Shout out to all of you that are here for it because thank you. 100,000 subscribers is a huge, huge goal. P.S. If you haven't already done so, like and subscribe. Thank you so very much. But how do you do that and continue to provide value and provide content when you're unsure what each day to day is gonna look like and when like capitalism is kicking your ass? Because let's be real, I wasn't doing that because I was doing Hippie Witch full time and then the bills kept billing and the money didn't money. So I had to go figure something out and it's hard. 
as a small business person, as a crafter who wants to continue making things and continue growing, and I don't want to feel like I've stopped. I don't want to feel like I'm giving up on those things. Partially because I'm not, I'm still working. Like I did so much crafting the other day. I have a whole pile of crochet sitting over that I have to finish and put up. I did new flyers, which hopefully will be up by the time you're watching this. Who knows what my life is doing right now. But it's hard to fit all of those things in, filming, editing, and doing the content that I want while also having a work schedule. So I think there's gonna be a slight shift in what I'm doing and it's gonna be less of how you can run your own business and more of how I'm doing this and working a small job at the same time. And some uploads may change. I don't think they will. I hope they don't. I plan on getting far enough ahead through batching, but it's definitely last week kicked my ass and it's gonna be a huge change and you can tell I'm tired filming this exhausted but I wanted to, to make something I don't want to have another week where I miss uploads and that means that yeah I want to put quality content out but sometimes you're gonna to have to just post a video sometimes you're just gonna to have to film and work with what you have and what you have the energy for instead of just waiting because if I keep waiting for it to be perfect it's never gonna happen take that note and write it down because if you're like me and you're waiting to figure out when the time to do something is it's now I'm hoping next year, I know, but by next January, I'm going to look back at this and be like, what were you worried for? Because things are going to be so different. It's just the steps of doing it that are hard. And that's why we have community, and I'm thankful for that. If you have things that you want to see, and you've made it this far, and you want to tell me more of what you want, I'm here for it. I have patterns that I'm filming out. The only contingency for us is I'm not going to release full patterns and tutorials of how I make things that I make and sell until we hit that subscriber count. So until we hit a thousand and we get monetized, you're gonna have to deal with these basic tutorials. Sorry, folks. You can support us on the Brew Crew. Link is in the description. That's what you wanna see, what more you want from Hippie Witch, because I'm excited to make it. And Vlogmas worked because it was whatever I wanted to do that day. Now it's harder because I have to figure out what to film at a time and schedule it and post it. People aren't just watching for the sake of watching anymore. They're reached the real entertainment of this channel and that's definitely going to be a challenge. Scary Craft Reacts is still going to be there because I have fun doing that one. Same with Bitchin' and Brews. They're just fun things to put in and now to put it all together. So I don't expect this video to be good. I'm going to have a fun time editing it because it's all over the place and I don't expect any crazy growth in my channel yet just because we're still figuring things out. But thank you to everyone who did reach out to me after Wednesday and now let's kind of shift this to how to grow your small business and how to do the things you want to do when you're working another schedule. So hopefully you learned how to batch from this. I will see you later in the week. Bye neighbors.